Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Sean Gray. I'm here today with Captain Chad Christensen from Los Angeles County Fire Department. We're going to talk to you today about door control. In last month's video, we talked to you about positioning a person at the door and taking that door control position, whether it was your fourth firefighter or your engineer. Today, we're going to give you another option, and Lieutenant Gray is going to talk to you about the smoke curtain. Okay, so our firefighter is going to come in with the smoke curtain, and he's going to put it into place. What the smoke curtain allows you to do is if you don't have the staffing on your engines to actually have a door control firefighter, the curtain will control the flow path and put it into place. You can see that it goes into place very quickly, takes about 10 seconds to put it into place, and that's all it does for an entry door. You now have the door controlled. The interior door is completely open, and we're ready to go. You can see that you will just open right up, and he's going to enter the structure. So just following up what we've talked about today, showing you the importance of door control. We're throwing in a curtain today. The smoke curtains are used to control flow paths. They're just as important or equally used as controlling the door with the firefighter. It's ideal to have a firefighter at the door because you have your firefighter safety points there that can come back to it. But if you have a curtain in place, it also controls the air, therefore controlling the flow path, reducing the temperatures. We're trying to bring the science to the streets, bringing the research-based tactics out to you guys. Thanks for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.